everybody, this is Julie from Nobody's Beauty Guru and welcome to my makeup collection series. This will be the intro for a number of videos where I go through and catalog exactly what I own in each one of my makeup categories. In the past, I have an entire playlist of my makeup collection and my numbers, but I've never shown you exactly what products I have in each category. Today, I am going to go through and I'm going to catalog all of that for you and do a giant rundown. This will be split up into multiple videos, so this will be my intro for all of them. But in this series, you will get to see all of the items that I have within a certain category. Whatever is on the title of this specific video is what you're going to be seeing today. So let's jump right in and I'm going to show you what I have kept in my collection after all of my declutters. All right, everybody, we are back with another portion of my series of makeup collection and this is going to be my eyeshadows. So we're going to start off with eyeshadow palettes and then swiftly move into eyeshadow singles of which I have a ton. So prepare yourself. First up, I have my palettes divided up into high-end and drugstore and trios. So we're going to go ahead and go over that. My current only drugstore palette is this one, which is the Wet n Wild dupe for the, the Modern Renaissance. This is Rosé in the Air. And I have tried this a couple times. I do actually really like the quality of these. I have enjoyed it so far. I've used this red shade, this transition color. Um, I mean, I really, this one I've used, I haven't played with it too, too much because it is new to me. You can see this in my most recent haul and I have been enjoying it, but this is my only drugstore palette, which brings me from one to one. Uh, I believe I unhauled a different one and brought this one in. So that one is my one. And then for high end, I have these one, two, three, four, five. I used to have seven, so I have unhauled two. I'm keeping my Anastasia self-made palette, which I've hit pan on a bunch of shadows and really enjoyed using. This was a gift from my sister multiple Christmases ago. It really needs to be used, but I do enjoy using it, so I'm keeping that. This one is one that I've been debating. It may end up in a declutter at some point. This is my Lunatic Cosmetics Lab. This is their Supernatural Eyeshadow Palette. I switched out one color in here. I swapped out the one that was normally in here for this bright, bright purple, but the rest of these do originally come with the palette. You can kind of customize your palettes here at Lunatic Cosmetics Labs. And I've used all of these colors at least a little bit, but not nearly as much as I should. These are all colors that I do enjoy. I might see if I can de-pop um, these, which looks like they are magnetic and they will come right out and put them into a Z palette because I do think I would reach for them more if they were in a Z palette. I just don't pull this specifically out, but I love the packaging. It's so cute. So even if I de-pop these, I will probably continue to hold on to the packaging, but these do look magnetic. I should be able to pop these right out put them into a Z palette, son of a beach, and uh, continue to use these because they are beautiful. I have my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. This is the only Too Faced palette I own. I do not have any of the chocolate bar palettes, which is why I went ahead and went for this one because the colors in this spoke to me a whole lot more than the other palettes. And I know that a lot of people say if you have the other palettes, you don't need this one because it's just a whole bunch of neutrals with a couple pops of color. I agree, but I don't have the others. So this one appealed to me a whole bunch more. I've used Tempting as a liner a bit. I've almost hit pan on Luscious and Peaches and Cream. I do really enjoy the texture and the way that these work on my eyes. I also really love the smell. I'm a sucker for it. I do not mind the peach ring gummy smell at all. And uh, this is one that I do really, really love. So this one is absolutely staying. I also have my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye, which I debate getting rid of every single time. I have paid full price for this. Um, I don't find myself reaching for this quad at all really. This one I do use a good bit as well as this one, but not really these like lighter white shades. This one has some hard pan I need to try to get rid of because I think foundation fell on it while I was using it. But it is a great staple to have. I do find it useful. I just have almost all of these in single Makeup Geek shadows in a Z palette that I reach for a little bit more. So that is why I don't reach for this one quite as much, but I absolutely could be. This one could also be used to set under the eye. Um, I just, I need to get better about using it. So it's staying for now. And then I have my Morphe and this is the 350S, which is the all shimmer. So the 350 is what everybody goes crazy about. I happen to think that Morphe does their shimmer shades better than their mattes. And I have mattes. You guys saw that in my Kat Von D shade and light. And you'll see it in my singles as well. I do think that Morphe does their shimmers very, very beautifully. So these are all 
very gorgeous shades. I think they swatch beautifully. They play on the eyes beautifully. I don't have any problems with any of their shades. I think that they're all very, very gorgeous. And I do really like this palette when I want to do a warmer look and have something kind of really shimmery on the lids. It is beautiful. Um, they are kind of starting to break up. They always kind of were a little bit coming away from the pans. So I do have to be careful with this because it is a very, very soft shimmery palette, but I do like it. So it is going to stay at least for now. I might look into depotting some of my favorites from that, but again, it's such a loose formula that I worry about doing that. But these are my five palettes that I have that are high end for right now. Guys, real quick, I just found this one. It had fallen to the side, like sideways, and I didn't see it. So this is the Meat Matrimony palette. I've hit pan on a whole bunch of these shadows. Matt Lynn, Matt Rose, Rossi, uh, Matt Evans. Pretty close here on the Matt Moskowitz. Um, and I do really, really like this palette. It's got a little bit more cool tone and then some warm tones. I, I just, I don't know. I do find a lot of use out of this. I do really like it. The pan size is massive and I will be holding on to this one as well. So that brings me to six high-end palettes and seven palettes all together now. Trios went from having one to having none. So all together, I have six eyeshadow palettes. I don't reach for palettes. I reach much, much more for my single shadows, and you'll see I have a lot more single shadows than I do palettes because that's just what I tend to reach for is something that I can cultivate and make my own and uh, personalize to myself. So these are the palettes that I have for right now, and uh, we'll get into my single shadows right now. Right. Let's start with my uh, Z palettes. I have three of them and then one Tarte palette. This one is one that is a mismatch of some of the ColourPop and Coastal Scents palette, uh, shadows that I've recently gotten. I also have a couple Wet n Wild here in Brulee and one in Nutty that I have had for a little while. Uh, this is my spell band that you've already seen. And then I have an Anastasia Beverly Hills banana powder that I did not put in my loose or my pressed powder. I forgot about you. So pressed powder goes to five, which officially moves me up one in that category. Son of a beast. 13 in this region. I also have this. This is my Tarte one. It's a nine pan of my everyday. This one is Makeup Geeks Vanilla Bean. Makeup Geeks Peaches and Cream. This is Tuscany by, I believe, Coastal Scents. This is Dark Olive by Coastal Scents. This is ColourPop's Glass Bull. This is a MAC unnamed one. I have no clue. These two were depotted from my Steal It in the Light palette and repressed into round pans. This one is Bubbly and this one is Sunset. And then this is Makeup Geek's Corrupt, which I have hit pan on. That was one of my goals to hit pan on. I love all these shadows. This Glass Bull is one of my new favorites. I can't get enough of it. It is so beautiful. Um, I really do like it with a base underneath of it, but it is stunning. So these are my everyday that I keep next to me that I use. And so there's nine in here. Nine and 13 is 22 so far. And then we have another Makeup Geek palette here. This one is my less used Makeup Geek and they run the gamut. I have an entire Makeup Geek collection video that I will link in a card so you can see all these swatched with their names. I do have that. So you guys can check that out. I'm not going to do it here because it's just way too much. So another 27 which brings me to 49. This one's Makeup Forever, and this one is Urban Decay, I believe in Fireball. This one is just a numbered uh, Makeup Forever that got sent to me. These were both subscription services. And then this is my more everyday Makeup Geek palette that I have added some of them to this, so that's why it looks a little bit empty. It's because I've taken some out and added them into that smaller one that's easier to keep on my desktop. Again, I have a full Makeup Geek swatch video with all of their names and all the swatches, so you can check them out there. But this is what is just kind of remaining in oh, Houdini. It's falling apart here. Um, you can check out all of those in that particular swatch video. But in here, we have a hodgepodge of numbers, so I'm going to count them up really quick. 21 more. So that brings me up to 70. But I do need to do my packaged ones too, and I do have one of them, and it is this. Uh, let me just double check. I have a couple cream, but cream come in a little bit. So this is my only packaged potted shadow. So that gives me 71 single shadows. This one is Girl Talk. This is one of the NYX Prismatic shadows. This is one that I use for a highlighter as well, but it is a shadow. And this is one that I am trying to hit pan on in a project. And I really, really love it. This was in a declutter and then I pulled it back out and kept it. And I'm very happy that I did because I really do love this. Then we have cream eyeshadows. I used to have 13. I know for sure that I have decluttered a whole bunch. 
So let me get them out for you because my only cream shadows at this point are my ColourPop and then I do have an e.l.f. that I will show you. Um, I finished one of my e.l.f. so these are the all remaining. I have eight of them all together and I used to have 13 so I have gone down five and this is Wine Knot by e.l.f. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous cream shadow. These are great as bases. It's shimmery. It stays. They don't crease on me. I'm very happy to have that and use that. This one is in Jinxie, which I tried to hit pan on before. This will show up in a project coming up soon. Gorgeous gold from ColourPop. And then I have Mixed Tape, which is like one of my few cool toned mauve or uh, taupey purpley grays from ColourPop, a gorgeous, gorgeous color that I do really enjoy using. And I've been trying to declutter and put these into projects so that I make sure I use them and they don't go bad. This one is in Partridge. Partridge. I don't know why I wanted to say Paradox, but that was a different one. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous olive green with a duochrome shift to like a brown orange. It is so beautiful. I need to use that one a whole bunch more. Uh, make sure you put the lids on these tight, guys. Then I have, this one's Paradox. I knew I had a Paradox in here. This is a gorgeous red with a satiny metallic finish. It does have like a little bit of shimmer. It kind of goes on matte satin, but you can tell that there's definitely a shift in there. This one will also end up in a project coming up soon. So look for that. And then I have Weenie. This was a Kathleen Lights collab. And this is a gorgeous, oh my God, it feels so good. This is a gorgeous coppery rose goldy color and it is absolutely stunning and this is one of my faves i also have a full color pop swatch collection video um although a lot of them have been decluttered at this point this one is waddles which is one that i'm trying to use up this is on my makeup uh, tray for my everyday use and this is just a very very nice transition color uh, that one goes in my crease a whole lot. It's what I'm wearing in my crease today. So if you see me in the intro, that's what I'm wearing in my crease. And this is Mittens. This is what I'm wearing in my outer V. This poor boy is starting to dry up a little bit, um, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous ready brown. And that's what's in my outer V in the intro and exit of this video if you want to look. And I adore it. Also, in my cream or liquid um, eyeshadow category, I'm adding this in. This one is the Essence Metal Shock Eyeshadow. This one is in Stars and Stories. And every time I wear this, I get a ton of comments asking me what I'm wearing on my lids. And it is this every time. This is very much akin to the Stila Liquid Metals. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous liquid. Um, my only current liquid eyeshadow. It's what it's all my eyelids in the video that I'm shooting right now. So in the intro and the exit, I am wearing this one as well. And it is absolutely stunning. And I think it was like $4.79. It's the best money I've ever spent. And I will be getting more of these. So for my creams and my liquids, I have nine. Um, I almost forgot about that and that would have bummed me out because it is very, very pretty. Oh. Loose pigments. I have a couple here from Wet n Wild. I have this one in Heart of Rose Gold and also Dom and Cherry on top. It is a beautiful rose gold and a gold color. These are gorgeous and they also have sifters on the top that like block it from spilling, which is amazing. Really, really love them. Um, I also have... Shit, I have another pressed shadow, shadow that I forgot about. I also have this pressed shadow. This is a single shadow in Hocus Pocus. And this one is a gorgeous duochrome. Looks a lot like this one up here. Look at that. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. And this one is by Prestige. Yes, Prestige. This is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So Single eyeshadows actually have 72, used to have 75. So these two pigments we talked about, these are Makeup Geek. I have Insomnia and Afterglow. Afterglow is a gorgeous champagne, also great for a highlight. Insomnia is pretty much these colors. Um, it's just another duochrome, gorgeous color. I love those. This one is Rock Salt by Geek Chic Cosmetics. And this is actually more of like a glitter that I use with a glitter base. Um, it's just a very, very fine sparkle. I love that. These two are actually a Makeup Geek shadow um, that used to be in one of these, but it cracked and I forget the name of it and I should have written it on here, but these are actually one shadow. Look at this, this packaging is cracking too. Shoot. Um, but this is actually one of these in two containers because I had to get it out of one of these. So I'm counting this as one. 
So that is technically three, four, five, six right here. And then we have seven, eight, nine. So these are all Geek Chic Cosmetics. This one is Samwise the Brave. It's a gorgeous brown color. I have this one, which is very special skill set. And um, these should be swapped, like the containers were swapped. So this Samwise should be in the Lord of the Rings packaging. And this, I believe, should be in this one. But what are you going to do? Uh, and then this is a Harry Potter one. And this is in Mischief Managed. It's a gorgeous light taupey brown. Um, and I really do like these. Again, I don't use these that often. I have a feeling that at some point these may end up in a declutter, but for right now, they're all things that I am keeping. So I had nine loose pigments and, um, yeah, I really do love using them when I remember to go in and get them and use them, which is not all the time, not gonna lie. Then we're gonna get into eye primers. Here's my eye primers. I uh, added this one. It was a 100 point perk in an order. So I have two of the Urban Decay Shadow uh, primers, potion primers. I have this Too Faced one, which I am trying to pan, the Shadow Insurance. I have a little rock behind the scenes, which again, I would like to pan this year, but uh, who knows? I think it's more empty than I think. And then I have an e.l.f. Uh, glitter glue, which looks like a hot mess, but I do need this for the pigments and some of the glitters that I use. So I keep this as my glitter glue. So those are my five eye primers, and uh, they all work very well. No problem with them. So I went up one there. I hope you've enjoyed this installment of my makeup collection and seeing what I have. If you have and you're interested in seeing more and the rest of my collection that is to come, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye guys.